Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today we are trying a fan mod on our Endminer Z9 Mini. It has the same control board as other Endminers, so another PWM slot was free from the start and I always wanted to know what would happen if you give the Z9 Mini a second fan. So our fan for today is a Noxua Industrial PPC in the 3000 RPM version. A monster of a fan and not necessarily cheap, but if the experiment fails I have other uses for it, so no worries. Before we start playing around with the fans, I am resetting the Z9 Mini to the standard frequency of 500, so that we have neutral numbers for our experiments. Before that we were on 600 MHz and around 13,000 souls. After leaving it on stock for some time, we got temperatures of maximum 63-64 degrees Celsius on the hottest chip, as well as below 50 on the PCB. With that numbers, the original fan is spinning at around 3200 to 3400 RPM. And lastly, in front of the fan we are seeing volumes of 84 to 85 dBA. First experiment will be the Z9 Mini with only the Noctua fan on front. So to say a bonus test because someone on reddit mentioned the Z9 wouldn't work without the original fan. So let's try it out. For the Noctua only experiment we'll use all the original screws. And after that we will try the rubber anti-vibration mounts too. I think the end miner looks really good with the Noctua only mount. And I know uh, opinions are polarizing about Noctua's color choices but I like it very much. So the Noctua fan spins up good even in the initial startup phase when the end miner pushes its fans also the Noctua did go frenzy. But the users who reported on reddit were right so the end miner did not start hashing. We only reached some sort of fail state. The fans running and even recognized by the miner but no hashing is done. So even though an ant miner with a Noctua industrial fan would look really nice, it doesn't work. I guess this happens because of different voltages. So I guess the ant miner is programmed not to start hashing if not a fan with specific specs is connected. Unfortunately, experiment number one is a fail. If you know my seller, you know I don't care so much for noise and I'd rather get temperatures down even more. So as a second experiment, we will try the Noxua as additional exhaust. This means a push-pull configuration. I knew from the start that it wouldn't be ideal this way because of this kind of cage the Endminer Z9 Mini had. It would be better if we had a shroud like we have in the front, but I wanted to try the first fan experiments with the Z9 Mini without changing too much, especially for the guys for you who don't want to void the warranty. It's not ideal, but I still want to give it a try. So we do it with without screws and with these anti-vibration thingies. <laughs> I needed some filling around of course. I was very careful that the rubber of the mounts did not touch anything of the inside of the miner. And yeah, <laughs> as I mentioned it was some fiddling, but we did it. We have our Z9 Mini with our modded push and pull configuration, resetting everything up and we are hashing again. So it does hash. But the thing is, we don't really see differences in temperatures. So in this stock frequency we stayed around 64C. But the main fan, so the original one, is actually running faster than before and the Noxua is running around 1900 RPM. Here I decided to let it sit for some time and wanted to return to it later because I thought maybe it's around the same or even a bit hotter because the sun came out right when I started filming and sometimes it has a little influence on my room. But as you'll see later, nope. Before changing settings I wanted to return to our volume meter. Even though we added one fan and the original fan was running a bit faster, we didn't see any differences in volume so we are still at our 84-85 dBA when we are in front of the fan. To be completely honest with you, I expected to see a noticeable change right away with two fans. But nope, still this doesn't stop us from continuing our experiments. So. At first, I wanted to check our old overclock setting and see if we see any differences. So we're going back to 600 megahertz and we will see how it reacts with the new configuration. Again, let it sit for some time and check temperatures. Also here with our overclock 600 megahertz, 13,000 so, it's around the same like it was before with the spans spinning a bit higher. So is this push-pull configuration actually slowing down the miner? And yep, no matter if daytime or nighttime, if it's cold outside or not, because normally it doesn't influence my room so much, temperatures stayed around the same, with the fans still spinning stronger than before. So you can imagine I was not necessarily happy. Still, I didn't want to stop there, of course. I wanted to check how far I can overclock without hitting over 70 degrees Celsius on the chips. For me, it's just my personal rule of thumb for chips, which are working for me 24-7. This means I don't mean peak times like, say, video rendering or gaming. I really mean when it's working 24-7. The rule simply is, 
that I don't want to see the 70C. So I always try to be below that. Back to the Z9 Mini, we ended up at 625 megahertz with our overclock. This leaves us just below 70C and around 14,000 souls. And miners fans can also be controlled manually, but I really don't want to turn to this in this experiment. I actually wanted to make the setup cooler or at least take some stress from the front fan away. And we did none of those things, so I don't want to resort to manual fan settings because it's not ideal in my opinion. It really is a pity that we can't set our own fan curves in Bitmain's interface. So that's already it for a little fan experiment. It's not necessarily the better numbers I have expected, but I still wouldn't necessarily call it a complete fail. <laughs> for once, <laughs> those of you who wanted to try Noctua only now know that the Z9 Mini doesn't accept it as only fan. Also our try with the push-pull configuration did not really yield better temps or at least lower fan speed for the original fan like I would have hoped. So there will be two things upcoming for the Z9 Mini. For once, I could try the exact same thing with just a stronger exhaust fan. For example, I still have a replacement fan of the Baikals, which are much stronger beasts. On the other hand, because the numbers really were kinda strange, I'll take the exhaust fan away again and we'll retest to find out more. But still, I want to leave this video as it is. First of all, that it doesn't get on for too long. And secondly, because we now know the long story short, ant miners do not like noxious. I, on the other hand, really like Noctua fans, and I don't have to say this just because I'm Austrian and Noctua are too. I really like them. So I guess the CPU will get an additional cooler. <laughs> Coming up next, it's enough for the ASIC madness for some time, and we'll turn back to our GPUs, and we'll continue to work on them. Summer has still not fully hit us here in Austria, so it's still the perfect time to take care of our equipment. Thank you very much for experiencing these experiments with me. I wish you all the best, happy hashing, and bye! Thank <laughs> you.